fellas, now that a new melee tower has joined the game, I'm going to go ahead and compare it to the other most commonly known melee towers, Gladiator and Sledger. There's also Slasher, but below Natural ruined that and just added to the pile of towers that no one cares about because he destroyed them. Wow, guys, what a really cool map. You can, you can easily tell what that dark of abyss is. Got to send submarines to go see what that map is. <laughs> Got to get a satellite in there. Got to get some thermal imaging to see what, see what that dark uh, stuff. Yeah, something to say stuff. <laughs> now for difficulty, I don't really care. These are the three melee towers. Slasher, I took out a picture because much like my love life, it is garbage. Now, out of these guys, one of the most ranged is Warden with seven studs. He can, he can hit over here yet. You know, his, his his little stun baton doesn't look that big, dude. I don't know you guys, but this just looks kind of silly. Don't let you think. It looks silly. The first test we're going to do is see who's better for crowd control. So there's a lot of speedies coming his, uh, down the warden's way. And he sucks. Now, Gladiator in her hand. I'm going to give him a boost, too. Let's see how fast he kills. Wow, would you look at that? <laughs> And how about a Sledger? Spam, spam. Sledger does have AoE 2, but it's not as good as Gladiator, I think. Just because of the fire rate. But Warren is just a terrible choice for crowd control. Now on to the next test. Bosses. Max out Gladiator versus one normal boss. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. I was not a surprise concerned that was kind of crap. Yes, this is a bigger challenge. And go. Okay. It did good, but it didn't kill it. Sledger should fare better because it does doubly damage when it is frozen. Gladiator left it at 500 health. Now, these are the base towers on itself. So of course, he win with, with supports, but we're seeing for just by themselves. It escaped with only 100 health. That's not bad at all. Now, it is the Warden's turn, which should be no surprise, guys. <laughs> it gets stuck. Dude, it legit gets stuck. Yeah, Warden beat the hell out of that thing for sure. Now for this next sex, we're going to do four of each melee tower. First up is four gliders with supports as well. Versus one thick boy tank. Okay, go ahead and start using the abilities right now. Uh, call of arms, got it. And the tank survived with 4,600 health. I'm not going to count the commander dealing his damage. Well, glider kind of sucked, not going to lie. <laughs> next up are just four sledgers versus tank due to call of arms right now. And the thing is that they do freeze it, but they also deal double damage per swing. That was actually back time to call the CTA. I should have put it right here. There we go. Now they're all going to be spamming it on, in on it. And wow, that actually fully killed the tank. Nice. It didn't struggle much either. Just remember, Sledger cannot detect stealth, so it, it absolutely sucks against stealth, guys. Unlike the Chad Warden, it does detect stealth. One tank versus four of these uh, Wardens. So far, yes, this is getting stun locked and it's receiving a lot more damage as well. I think it's gonna kill it faster than the Sludger. I'm not too sure. Gotta find out. And it looks like it deals with the same as Sludger. Gladiator failed miserably at tank test, but Sludger and Warden won. I went ahead and placed on 40 Wardens against the uh, one and only Gravedigger. And. We're off. The first hits are being thrown at the bosses. Now, they don't get stunned or slowed or anything like that. And with the right shields, they are re resistant to stuns. They do get stunned for a, a bit, but it's not a big deal. We're going to put the commander of oh, the commander died. I thought we couldn't use that. Can we just help him out? And Gravedigger, yeah, already more than half his HP is gone. And with the Call of Arms, god damn, dude. <laughs> Talk about police brutality. He died. Gravedigger died. Let's see if they can kill the uh, molten boss. And we're off. Gonna start using the Call of Arms already. And it's gonna spawn in some stuff, but look at how fast the Molten Titan will die, dude. For melee towers, it's actually a pretty good rate. And there we go. Now they're off. Multi boss is being fully targeted in the core center. That's okay. Just gonna place on another commander. Going to get, get that CTA up all on running. And 20,000 health hour remaining. <laughs> 15, 10, 8. Five, three, and dead. It killed the molten boss. 40 wardens. How about the Fallen King? Now, fellas, it's, it's going to be a remarkable event to see it kill the Fallen King. And yeah, we have started. The wardens are now finally triggered the Fallen King. 
This is going to be a huge surprise if we can actually manage to kill the Fallen King with just Warden Spam. 40 of them, by the way. Uh, 120,000 health, so we already depleted 30,000 of this helpful way. This is looking good so far, but it's about to run out of a uh, massive DPS pretty soon. Go ahead and do another Call of Arms right here. 8,000 health. We almost got it down to half his HP. To the stunning blocks, that's okay. And he's going to do yeah, another stun attack. And ooh, that one actually stunned a few of them. You know, yeah, it did. But they're back online already. And we got it down to... Oh, man. More than half his HP is gone. That's really good for only a melee tower. Now, I'm doing the exact same test, but with 40 gladiators now. This is kind of more annoying because I got to do the ability for each tower and, and click on in this game sucks for the most part uh i can't tell much damage oh yeah i can okay so great digger i i'm pretty sure we can't kill the great digger yes there's no way we cannot kill him and yes glider does block and duff molten boss is next yay and we're off with the molten boss again the same ability spam thingy he does spawn in Molten Titans though, so that's kind of annoying, but Gladiator does splash damage, so it doesn't really matter too much. I forgot to do Call of Arms. They did, did not matter for the Grave Digger at all, by the way. That's, that's it, okay. Okay, the ability over here is already ruined. Don't know why my clicking is glitching out. That's kind of stupid. Why is it doing that? That's annoying. Please help. Multi boss down to half HP. I'm pretty sure we're going to win this. Again, stunning does not matter. Gladiator can block that. Got a new call to arms buff. And... Uh, Molten Boss dies. They did struggle a bit more, though. Now, I know they are going to lose against the Fallen King, but let's see if they can beat Warden. Start using the ability already. Again, stuff that spawns in doesn't really matter too much. Call arms right now. And do more to Billy, please. God damn, we are just not fast enough. I, why is it not working? I'm clicking on it, dumbass! God damn, this game sucks! After like years, click on clicky, stupid! Holy hell! God damn! Please. Please, are doing so bad. Please. Call harm's work. Well, guys, I did objectively worse than Fallen King. I can't tell because this game is pro is programmed like trash with that ability clicking st stuff. Or maybe because Glider sucks. I'm thinking that Glider just sucks against bosses. So Warden did definitely deal a lot more damage. Sledger, I'm not going to bother our test because you can only place down six Sledgers. So realistically, no player is going to be able to beat this. I could cheat, but it doesn't really matter because, well, you can't. And all right, you guys, we've got the three towers, Gladiator, Sledger, and Warden. The pros of Gladiator, good splash damage, ability, decent damage. The cons are exclusive, Robux only, sucks against any high HP foes. The Sledger, okay, splash damage, freezes foes, focus, focus, good damage, cons, exclusive, Robux only, place only a six. This really kills it, and that's why it kind of sucks. And then the Warden. Pros, great damage, stuns. Longest range, free, for now at least. And the cons are pretty much no splash damage. That's really the bit, bit biggest one. So, out of these three towers, what I what I would rate them, mm, this sucks. Uh, this is okay, but the, but the place of me kind of ruins it, so it's kind of mid at the same time. And this, Chad. Chad build. Chad. Thank you.